What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Jonas here and today guys we are now gonna hunt to the next episode of the Amazing World of Gumball Season 6. Let's get it. Woo! The anybody. Alright, to the start. Man, them 7 a.m. vibes, man. I miss that shit. I kind of miss it, but I don't too. I fucking hated it. Jesus, that's pretty classy how? What are you doing in my house? Oh, thanks, Mr. Robinson. I know I could rely on you to wake me up. I can't be late for Miss Simeon's class again. I've already been late the ones this week. Well, three times if you count the other two times. So I can't let her catch me again or she'll give me detention. No way she's going to catch me this time. I mean, it's not like I'm doing it on Bro, purpose. what the fuck? Is <laughs> you put in the house? I mean, you wouldn't want to be woken up at 7 a.m., would you? I mean, you would because you're old. What is it with old people and getting up this early? I guess you're just trying to drag out the last few days. Just go, just go. Anyways, have a nice day. Bye. You know, he could, Donald could have woken him up. I don't know why he didn't do that. He's got to hurry, too, if he misses the, the things that he has attention on his head. Well, that guy's creepy. Damn. Ooh. Hurry, Gumball! He's almost there! Get over! Get out of the way! No! That's not fair. He was stopped. <laughs> Home time, everyone. Except you, Watterson. I'll see you back here in five. Mm. <laughs> Ew. Oh, like, bro, hey, you just drink it. The detention. Nah, it's all right. I got this annoying breathing technique that's gonna make it as hard for her as it is for me. <sighs> Like the fat Your guy breathing. Story, Gumball? What? Who said that? Me! Whoa, Clayton! You're just oh, a water fountain? Yeah, well, nothing interesting ever happens to me, so I thought I'd try becoming inanimate objects. Doing it again? Spoiler alert, nothing interesting ever happens to them either. Hey, the last episode. <laughs> Samantha, finally! We've been waiting for Golden Girls! Angela's clothes are back in fashion. <laughs> hey, look oh, again. That one's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't the ball. Oh, okay. He was See, it's boring. We're not all like you, Gumball, running around, stopping the school from being blown up, wrestling an alligator. I don't think you ever. You never did that shit. Let the boy finish. I never did that. Dude, you're wasting your talent. If nothing cool happens to you, why not just change into someone else? He didn't he do this, this before. Be he was just changing into okay, things, then I'll be and he just was trying to find his identity. So, what are we gonna do? I do not sound like that. Try clearing your throat. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> look, look, no offense, but he's kind of the sidekick. If you want real excitement, you gotta aim a We're we doing jabs again? You're you you know, doing jabs again? Come on, Gumball. Awesome. That's your homie. You know, someone who's a little bit... Me! You can be me! Okay. No, that's bad. I can already tell. It's gonna be bad. I know. I can sit your detention for you. What? Well, aren't you gonna stop him? It's not right that he should be taking your punishment. I know. Oh, Clayton, no, please don't sit my detention for me. It'll be a really bad. <laughs> idea. Yep, yep, you I good, you good. Hear me? I tried. I tried hard. I tried. <gasps> Wait, if Clayton was a water fountain, then I must have been. Oh, drinking a ew, ew, that nasty life. ass. What was he? Was he peeing? Are you pissed? Ew. Good morning, kids. Fuck you. Bro, what? The hey guys, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was him. Uh, just out of interest, Rocky, how many of us can you see? Yeah. No, it's me, Clayton. I'm doing like you said. Now I'm Rocky. Dude, you yeah. can't drive. You can't. Oh, can't. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Gumball, this is, you have to stop it. But how do you stop somebody when they could be anybody, any, any, any? You just don't want to do it, do you? Yeah, just do it. Huh? But... Who are you? I'm, I'm Dr. Uh, Dr. Man. Uh, here to do Come on, Clayton. Things. His stethoscope isn't even in his ears. He's clearly Clayton. Hey, guys, it's me, Clayton. I'm sorry about the bad driving, but you gotta admit it was fun. Oh, huh? Dr. Man, we've uh, got a couple of patients we need you to Oh, so that's actually not joking. Sure, uh, let me get my, um, uh, bag. What a pro. He may be really shifty, but he's the best gosh darn surgeon I've ever met. What? Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait what? <laughs> this can't be happening. My my twin brother, I haven't seen you since oh, this like Rick. <laughs> Sunday. Yes, here I am in Elmore for perfectly Bro, normal, who is Clayton? Legitimate reason. <laughs> hey, Clayton's over there. Okay, that's Clayton. We need to stop him. It'll 
it'll certainly be easier than figuring out whatever this is. They're like Dr. Brothers. Tell me again what he looked like. He's about yay tall with a hat, a green shirt. All right, come on, man. Don't be doing this yourself. Jeez. I'm going to give you a 10 second head start. Thing. Ooh. And I was two payments away from owning that room. I didn't fill it up with gas. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow. No, a bird, a bird. Not a beagle. Not a penguin. Well, at least he made it safe for us to cross the road. <laughs> that was awesome. He's made of clay. It probably won't affect him as much. No, Clay, stop. Let me in. Let me in. Hey, guys, I've locked myself out. We don't have time, man. No, I mean, I've been locked out. Right, uh, you've been locked out and you're on your no, own. No, Clay's there. No, I mean, I have been locked out of my house by an individual who is exactly the same physical appearance as I do. Yeah, Clay. Uh, why didn't you say so? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my birthday. Ow. My Ow. That my hurts. That hurts. Okay, I promise never to be selfish again. Please, Mary, yeah. show me no more. <laughs> <laughs> Clay is gone. One child's ticket, please. Really, sir? <laughs> oh, I mean, one child ticket, please. Uh, well, you... senior tickets are cheaper. Just go right Jeez, there. Senior cheaper. Excuse me, did you see a guy or a Yes, woman, he went in there. Or young, tall, or short. They all went in there. Okay, <laughs> this will be easy. The theater will be empty at this time of... Ah, shit. All right. Split up. Bro, it could be anybody. The out of the bed. Oh, my goodness, you're right. Martin, Martin, where are you? Martin! I know who you really are. Oh, sit down, no, you boy. Please, tell the school book. I smell a rat. Sorry, kid, that was me. Hey, Triggy! Busted! <laughs> this is no good. We've asked everybody. What? <laughs> and this is no time for ventriloquism. Oh, Sclain! Sclain! Sit there! Get his ass! Then that's Clayton! Yes, get him! Sorry, then that's Clayton. That's Clayton! Didn't you want to become Gumball from the beginning? That was close. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, well, as you're already down there, you can kind of sort it out. Get your ass down there. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have told you to be someone else. I was wrong. Yeah. Other people's lives are so much more exciting. Especially yeah. yours. Yes, that is true, but... You Bro, his life has always been the amazing world of Gumball. Okay, what kind of logic is that? Uh. Oh, it's out. Are you all right? Yeah, fine, thanks. What about Gumball? What? Wait. Oh yeah, sorry. I made a deal with Gumball in the movie theater. He let me do all the running around, saving the day bit, as long as I promise to be myself from now on. What? Why would you? <laughs> Bruh, help him! Oh shit! Is there a crocodile? Oh, alligator. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Bruh, he's lying again. He did not. Ah! Uh -huh. Bringing wisdom and experience to the situation might help. No. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oh shit. This makes me cooler than you, right? What? Because <laughs> I really did find an alligator. Hey, Darwin, is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. He just had so much excitement for one day. I think True. I know what to do. What? Bye -bye. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is working. Yeah, well, not everyone can handle the excitement of hanging out with me. 
<laughs> what the hell, man? Come on, Clayne. He tortured the poor boy. Like, fucking hey, leave him alone. The pact. All right, see what's Breathe. That one's like, I love you. I can't breathe. I think it's on too. I love that song too much. <clears throat> what the hell? Well, this is weird. I know, right? That Nokia looks exactly like Principal Brown. <laughs> What are you doing? No. Oh. I believe this is yours. It's all right. It's ruined anyway. Hey! 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 So, what happened to your car? Hmm. I feel like I forgot. The parking brake. You gotta put it on. Also, the emergency brake too. It's in the shop. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk about? Oh my god. Girls. <laughs> no. Don't get me started on girls. I said no girl time! No, no girl time. So, so I got this weird rash on my cheeks from shaving. Looks fine to me. Not mm. those cheeks. All right, I take it back. Girl talk mm, is fine. Yeah. Okay, so Miss Simeon means everything to me. And when I say everything, I mean every terrible thing as well. Oh, dude, I feel you. Wait, do you mind if I call you dude? Only if I can call you bro. Yeah, pass. So what no, I'm principal does is that I get what you're saying. Penny's developed this super weird laugh recently. <laughs> 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 what the freaking laugh is that? Why don't you tell creepy. me? Because I prefer my heart beating safely inside my chest rather than being held in front of my screaming face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be honest, there are some things I avoid telling Miss Simeon. Like well, Miss Simeon's freaking crazy, crazy, that's why. In fact, it's gotten to the point where I don't bother redecorating. Why don't you mm. confront her about it? Yeah. Because she will bite me, Gumball. She, she will bite me in the neck. And if that doesn't finish me, without a doubt, the resulting infection will. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait a second. Perhaps there's a way we could, you know, help each other out. Uh, okay, okay. Do what? what are we doing? Because what are we doing? A genuine question. Yeah, I take care of Simi and you take care of Penny, right? But it has to look like an accident. What? what? I meant to <laughs> take care of the laugh and breath thing. Oh, yes, that's a much less illegal idea. Let's shake on it. Ew, what? No, no, no. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> Ew. Okay, Gumball. Okay. You only get one shot at this. You got three of them, though. Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> it's over, Simeon. My plan is flawless. Oh. Ew. He ate that shit. I can still smell it. <laughs> Miss Simeon. Uh huh. In the phone? What the hell? We like it. To talk, Watterson. When asked what led to the defeat of the British in Saratoga, you wrote dental hygiene. Uh -huh. When asked what was Abraham Lincoln most famous for, you wrote dental hygiene. <laughs> and when asked which medical professions in the state of Connecticut become the first to license, you wrote dental hygiene. Mm. One out of three. That's the best you've ever scored. Hey. Well done, Watterson. Hip, hip. Uh, no. Just All right. I need to say something. Okay, you know sometimes there are these things that seem really awkward, but they're not really, and it's mm -hmm. like way better if someone just tells you, but it's a little touchy, so they mm -hmm. try to put it in the most delicate way possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just say it, man. Your breath smells so bad, your face should be wearing diapers. <laughs> and how did you <laughs> it? Well, I didn't have to go to the hospital. The nurse said it would be more dangerous to surgically mm -hmm. remove the pencil. Well, I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. Yeah. So I'm not going to thank you at all. You're welcome. So what about the other did part you of help the plan? Out the with plan Penny? worked brilliantly. So brilliantly, in fact, that we don't need to do the rest of it. We should quit while I'm ahead. Wait. What? If you think you can wuss out of this, you got another he thing. He bitched out, really? Come on, man. to tell Penny that... Uh, uh, watch out. <laughs> what? I can see you, Principal Brown. No, you can't. What? Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> He was supposed to help out, man. What? You better keep your end of the deal, or I will tell Miss Simeon. Pff, he's bluffing. <laughs> I'm not bluffing. I've nothing else to say. I just had to buy a full 200-page notepad, and I don't want it to go to waste. Nice. So, how's it going? Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
fucking scary. Sorry, I haven't said anything in a while. How long have you been in here? Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. After a day or so, you lose track of time. It takes much longer to repair a car than I thought. <laughs> and <laughs> you have like a granola bar or some chips or something, because those aren't abs you see there. It's my spine protruding oh. through my stomach. Ew. Uh, sorry, no. We aren't taking this a bit too far. No! And let this be a lie! <laughs> this is how far I'm prepared to Dude, go! that's fucking okay, creepy! That's Good. Now, could you push me out of your car, please? I got the muscle mass of a J-Rock singer. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he owes Gumball. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, they're everywhere. <laughs> Oh, shit, he's right there. <laughs> Just do it, man. Help him out. You should be careful about threatening me, Watterson. I control everything in this school. If, say, a teacher was to look in your locker tomorrow, they might just find the money from the school safe. You think you can buy your way out of our deal? Mm. You're completely right. I'll take huh. it. Wait. Oh, okay, nice. It's stolen. I don't need to know where it came from. <laughs> Save money is all people care about. This good fool, then I'll expel you and you'll be sent to jail. Well, if Ooh. I go down, I'm taking you with me. Yeah, well, if you do take me with you, I'm mm -hmm. going to sit in the back and complain the whole way. <laughs> asking you if we're there yet. You expel there me yet. anyway. I'm going to tell Miss Simeon that you put me up to this. Uh -huh. ah, go ahead. I'd love to see you try. Go do it, Gumball. Yeah, go do it. Go, go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, I say, go find it, dude. Get back here. Right. You're making a big mistake, son. <laughs> this school is mine. I control everything here. Oh, damn. Oh, did you? Now, if I wanted to see the drive to open, I would have... Darn it. Time to turn up the heat. What? Ooh. Oh, damn. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Guitar slide. Oh, I'm not Wait, those guys. should have clarified. The body must still be attached to his head. <sighs> okay. Oh, and uh, both must still be alive. <laughs> well, go on. Get, get his ass. <laughs> get him. Get Watterson. Don't you dare. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, wake the other Watterson. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Miss Simeon. Slide, bro. Slide. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Your report card just came in. You got a D for going down. Oh, well, I'm not the one going down. <laughs> what was that about? Sorry. I thought that was that. I thought it was trying to do. What was that button for? Yeah. Appropriate music. Oh yeah. Well, this is you. <laughs> Yeah, well, these are your tears. Delicious. Oh, yeah? Well, this is your face! No. And this is your... And this is your... <laughs> he can't lift it. He can't lift it. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Don't lift it, man. And this is your tears! <laughs> Find me! No need, Watterson. You're done. I've got all that on my security camera when I pushed that button earlier. Ah, oh, damn. Deceived me, damn. You damn. Well, that'll teach you for trusting a handshake, won't it, Watterson? You used me. That's Ooh. right. Okay. I used you as a pawn to get rid of Miss Simeon's fetid breath, which was so bad it triggered our smoke detector. Mm -hmm. And when you threatened to tell Lucy the truth, I used my powers to crush you, putting your that's life basically in the twist. explanation of a villain. Actually, mm -hmm. that sounds pretty bad when said out loud. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what have I done? I've broken my oath as guardian of the school. I've become yeah. a principal without principles. All because I was scared of telling Penny Fitzgerald about a stupid laugh. A laugh no, that sounds no, like she's no, gargling don't say that. through her mouth. Don't say that. Uh, I should have just done my part of our secret pact. You get rid of Miss Simeon's tongue. No, no, no. Papers, and I get rid of that laugh that sounds like a circus mule operating a pneumatic drill. <sighs> They're standing right behind mm -hmm. me, aren't they? No. Oh. <laughs> They're on your left. <laughs> Damn it, bro! Oh my God, dude! Principal Brown is a pain in the ass, bro. Just he just—if he would have kept up his end of the bargain, none of this would have happened. Whatever. Let's hop to the next episode.
The neighbor. All right, let's just start. I don't know, dude. I just don't think this camouflage is working, and it's getting really hot in this. Okay. What? I thought it might snow. It's June. Why well, are we doing this anyway? Because it's getting embarrassing. We keep bumping into our neighbor, and we don't even know his name. Who? Mr. Robinson? No, the yeah. other one. Mrs. Robinson? Mrs. Robinson? No, the guy who lives on the other side. You know. Who? A really small person playing a normal sized piano. A normal sized person playing a really tall <laughs> piano. Who? Someone. Who's the neighbor? Uh, tickling the. The sky tickler. No, him. Oh. Oh, the mailman. Yeah. No, I don't know that guy's name. Who is exactly. his name? We never no, really got a name. We're running out of ways to get away with it. Hey, Gumbo! Darwin! Hello! Mm. What's your name? Sir? The mailman? Oh, now. I've known you for years. You don't need to call me, sir. You can call me by name. Uh, the mailman? It's the mailman. It's got... That's all yes, he did was do mail. we can. And we will Postman. definitely do that. <laughs> Next time. No, gosh darn it. Uh, Look out, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Just push him. Mr. Oh my god. We better call him the paramedics. Why? I'm pretty sure the paramedics is not his name. No, I mean call a doctor. Yeah. Nah, I don't want to be awkward when they ask us what he's called. Mm. And you to talk about his job as the town's mailman, Mr. <gasps> Maybe we should have Bro, they would have had his name. Why did they? I know. Yep. Yeah, remember this time? This was really awkward. This right now. Flashback. Right now. Wait up! I got a package for you. <gasps> hey, he's the mailman. We can't avoid it any longer. We're gonna have to ask him his name. Are you insane? You're forgetting mm. about the window. Uh uh. I am not jumping through any more windows. Mm -hmm. I'm still finding bits of window frame in my gills from the last time. No, I'm talking about the brief window of opportunity where mm -hmm. it's socially acceptable to ask someone what their name is. Yeah. After the third What's time you met someone, that window closes. What? What about your package? What's he trying to deliver anyway? Yeah. It's probably for me. I don't know that guy's name either. I've just been avoiding him by not leaving <laughs> the house and getting everything delivered. Isn't he the mailman? Yeah. I didn't think it through. And what's with the jars? You don't yeah. have to leave the house to go to the bathroom. I know. I didn't think that through either. Right. Ew, he looks you disgusting. You find out his name without him realizing. Hey, Gumbo. Hello, Mr. What's your name, okay, dude? Gumbo, just keep going until you see a look of recognition on his face. Smith Mr. Mailman, Mr. Postman. What's your name? Peter Zan Mark? Tony, what? Joe, John, what the hell is his name? David? <laughs> I'm so sorry about my friend, Mr. Uh, uh, man. I guess I'll just leave it with the others. Oh, yeah, it's for Richard. I was like, why the hell do they have so many faces? Isn't it illegal it's kind of awkward if you don't know someone's What's name and, you know, and they know your name. Or being locked in a prison of social awkwardness. Jackpot. Isn't it weird that a mailman leaves mail in his own mailbox? I guess some people don't like to take mail really. with them. To the occupant, they probably got to other the mailman. Concern, to the resident, to the homeowner, to the bill payer for your attention, sir, madam, madam, or sir, to the birthday boy. Doc, come on! What are you doing? No one. Destroying the evidence. Oh, Why? Just put it back in the mailbox. Good idea. Ah, oh, Darwin, Darwin, such a good little boy. Ah. <laughs> the oh, it's kind of works. I keep thinking that's Walgreens with the, you know. Excuse me, would you like to sign our petition? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have time to. Oh, God! Thank Ooh. you for stopping. Please sign here. Um, Why did they give him come on dreadlocks? Uh, it's it's your name, full name, please, nice and clear, black capital, as big as you can. What's it for? Uh, the mayor's gonna knock down the library to build a. A hospital. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, but then he's gonna knock down the hospital to build a. An orphanage. Again, An orphanage. So bad. But then he's gonna knock down the orphanage and build a. Oh, luxury apartments! Luxury apartments! That's terrible! Give me that! What's the thing? No, wait! We need direct action and we need it now! Ugh. Uh, <sighs> damn it. See, well, I, I mean, I, yeah, it works well on uh, the mayor here. Darwin. I've got an idea. We're gonna knock down Why is Donald Trump here? the hospital. No, no, that's just step one. <laughs> what is this guy's name? Uh, uh, hey. oh, what the? Mm. Are they, are they really doing this? Oh my god. 
Okay, running bells, go! Uh, I hereby state that I, Alice and Sandra Gator, do take you as my lawful wedded husband. Okay, your turn, go! I hereby state that I... What? Yes. What's the name? I... Yes! I... The face! Yeah! I think this is all happening too fast! What are the names? Yes, damn it! it. People say you're meant to mourn a relationship for half the amount of time you were together. Mm hmm. Package delivery. Okay, there we go. Sign here. What? But I'm the mailman for this neighborhood. Why didn't anybody tell me I've been replaced? Uh -oh. <laughs> Decades of experience, worthless, thrown in the scrap heap. Well, what is your name, damn it? Yeah, just, just, just write it out. Job you can just sign here. <laughs> What did you write? What did you write? Did we get it? Nope. Nothing Damn it. makes handwriting harder to read than an old man's tears. And I already got one of these. There must be Do you know this man? Tried. I've been breathing so hard my thing hurts. Hmm. Wait, I know. If we had amnesia, we could tell him we've forgotten his name and it wouldn't be embarrassing. Yeah. Great. How do you get amnesia? We hit each other on the head. How are we going to remember that we tried this? Huh. Write it on your arm. And well, that explains the headache. Amnesia. <laughs> hey, you too. That guy on your poster. You know his name? Let's just say he's an old friend. Okay, so what is he? What's his name, damn it? I'm curious. Harry Gidges. Who told you that was my name? Harry Gidges? We've always known it. <laughs> Obviously. Who told you that name? Those guys? <gasps> They found me. I don't Ooh. know how, but they found me. Oh, what are they? Spies? Agents? A dog, sure. Wait, what's wrong with calling you Harry Gedges, Harry Gedges? Because that's my Harry Gedges, name. okay. Yeah, we know it is Harry Gedges. Oh, hold that mind. Like we're always saying. Good morning, Harry Gedges. How you doing, Harry Gedges? Happy birthday, Harry, Harry Gedges. Gedges. Why, Harry Gedges? That's not the name I've been using. What do you mean, Oh, Harry so it's not his name? I've been living under a pseudonym for the last 20 years. You okay. It's like a fedora, Harry Gedges. Not my hand. Harry Gedges. A pseudonym is a fake name. It was given to me by the witness protection people when they moved me to Elmore for my own safety. And ever since then, I've had to live under the fake name that you know me by. Harry Gidgens. Which is oh. Mr. What's your name, damn it? Ow! We don't know your name, right? Tell us what it is. Wait, you don't know my name? They don't. You've been a neighbor since you were born. If my life wasn't in immediate danger, I'd be really hurt right now. Mm. <sighs> it's Carrie Hedges. Hmm. Ah, my <laughs> So let me get this straight. Your real name is Harry Gedges, and your fake Gedges. name is Gary Hedges. That's not very imaginative. Harry Gedges and Harry Edges. Okay, there's no way those guys could have followed us. Who? Those guys? <laughs> Damn, they found them. <laughs> Do you know this man? He lives at 1024. Why would you put the address? Here's a map. Jesus. This is the house. Jesus. The front door is locked. There is a key on the middle <laughs> room. How on earth did they find out where I live? Uh, lucky guess? Oh my god. Then I got no choice. I'm gonna have to skip town and leave behind my new life and beautiful home. I think beautiful's overselling it. Dude, not mm. the time. Yeah, sorry. Ha! I got it. You don't have to skip town if they think you're... Dead? I don't think pretending he's a duck is gonna help. No, no he's dead. They'll leave if they think he's already kicked the bucket. I know exactly what to do. Yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> Genius. Oh no! <clears throat> I was just cleaning the windows and now I have lost my balance. I hope there is no tragic consequence. Oh, oh. oh they had guns ready to go. Oh damn. <laughs> Ah, bro, he's dead. There's no way anyone can survive that shit. <laughs> Let's go. All right, they got him. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ha! It worked. Throwing that dummy out of the window was a great idea. Now I get to keep my life in my beautiful home. It wasn't supposed to fall out of the window. It was meant to look like you were in the house when it. Oh. Well, nice this to meet you, Harry Gedges. Not be the best time to ask, but would you rather we call you Harry Gedges or Gary Hedges? I'd rather you never talk to me again. <sighs> well, at least we know his name. <laughs>
the shipping. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, what's going on here? What can I do? Oh, it's the license, the awesome store, right? That's a doctor's license. Yes, that'll be a hundred dollars. All right, <laughs> keep your hands on the wheel, guys. Check what he's got back there. Yeah. Umbrella. Okay, that's weird. This is some creepy. Yeah, Chucky. We are friends. Everything is fine. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. What was that, Frank? Nothing, Chief. <laughs> Mm, Gee. I really wish I was a pet today. All right. Uh, we're gonna need some reinforcements, sir. Yep. Oh, come on, trooper. How big can one truck be? There's a map on the fifth floor. Uh, oh. huh? A duck horse? Wow, everything looks so beautiful. The light, <laughs> the world. Huh? Where do these love handles come from? Ah, my wife, she looks like a moose. <laughs> what kind of dark magic is this? Uh, they're not magic. I think you just need glasses. <laughs> all right. Most of that stuff looks pretty illegal. I <laughs> think you'll find all the right paperwork in here. There's no paperwork here. It's just thousands of dollars. We're taking you down Yo. now. Fair enough. See you guys there. Yo, man. <laughs> Sorry, After everybody away. came from my Darwin, some Wait, of the stuff that uh, Richard's got from there. The console, the Game Boy. Realize that isn't the way to the precinct? Nope. Oh. Hey. the Canada. Uh. Oh, Sarah. Oh, she's such a weeb. I kind of like her character, though. This is interesting. I love how she's really an anime, because that's me, too. Oh. Boss, that ice cream girl just stole a piece of evidence. Good point, what? Sergeant. We should get ice cream. Don't you <laughs> need to go back and retrieve that notebook? Sorry, nah. you're right. We should definitely go for ice cream. Okay, and then we check on her. That's right. Yeah. Then chicken. Then <laughs> chicken. Cartoon Network. Okay. What is that? All right. So it's the Cartoon Network notebook. Oh, she's shipping people. There was something intoxicating in the air. <laughs> it was love. What? To a lonely young girl, so the book is she like lived her life in the it's like making zone, everything real. There's no medication for falling head over heels in love. Alan rushed over. <gasps> Did it hurt? Alan said the gentle light glistened. Oh, okay, I get it now. Shipping, shipping. Not yeah, okay. As much as all these years of yearning for you, she said, her heart in her mouth. Without further ado, yeah. they kissed, their lips crashing into each other. Forever oblivious to the world around them. I have no words. Uh, then please allow me. <clears throat> I'm dumping you, you iron jawed gas sack. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. And what are you gonna say about that? What? In that moment, I felt something I'd never felt before. Hot dog guy and way you speak your mind. Really? Molly, Molly. Really? Without further ado, Molly, yeah. they kissed. The waves of their love sweeping away everything around them. <laughs> I don't know what you guys ship this. Oh, honey, I love it. This will truly represent our newfound love, and it'll look great on my shoulder. No, I want it here. Banana Joe's mom and Mr. What Robinson. The what? Oh. How's it going, guys? <gasps> we can't let him see his dad kissing Barbara. Uh, oh, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it works. still less painful for him. <laughs> well, his. Feelings are still intact. After six months of physiotherapy and learning how to talk again. Eh, we'll be fine. I've waited forever for this kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought Hector and Tina liked each other. Really weird going on today. I guess I've always known we shared deep feelings, but sometimes it's hard to see what's right. I spies, whatever. Eyes. I love you, man. Weird. Weird. It's weird. I don't know, man. That doesn't seem so out of the ordinary for him. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much. Hi. Who are what you? The hell? I'm your cousin Zachariah Lopez Kirby. I have a hyper mood, and I like paragliding and ducks. I hate arguments and it's Are these OC characters? <laughs> these are OC characters. Zachariah's girlfriend, Bexy. It's shot for Alexandra. I was raised by my uncle, Timmy Ted, and his twin dogs, Ramir and Castro. 
Catchphrase. This bird is out of control. Okay. The fuck is going on? How often Creepy. Would you get to use that catchphrase? I don't see how this day could get any weird. And here we go. Stop it. Huh? <laughs> what the? Dude, this is all messed up. I know, what? right? Future me wearing sandals? I mean, you're going to steal Carrie from me. It's supposed to be Carwin, not Carbon. Oh, that's the name Carwin? Carwin? <laughs> And it looks like I didn't stop at women. Oh my god. No, no, no. Incest is not incest. Ew, ew. Pants in this relationship. Oh yeah, why is Gumball? This <laughs> why is Gumball the girl? All over it. How do you know? <laughs> oh, sir. Of course. Her heart pounding in her chest. Penny said to Banana Joe, let's never spread. Okay, Death Note, relax. What did you do this time? <laughs> She's making fanfics, basically. Mostly OTP squeeze and fan service. Yeah, fanfics. Fanfics. Just writing love stories about everyone in Elmore. Making fanfics. Got a bit carried away. Where did you get this? Yeah. It fell off the back of a truck. That's not a euphemism. The awesome story. The awesome story. Well, just take a look at what. There's still a cartoon network notebook, though. I'm an otaku. The light could kill me. Okay, relax, weed. Aw, oh, damn. Everybody's in love. It's like a commercial for male deodorant out there. So when I wrote all this, it became canon in reality. <laughs> it's it's a canon event. <laughs> Very canon. Gotta fix it, okay? Right. Oh. Oh, I probably need to destroy it thoroughly. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Yo, Darwin. Okay, so the only solution is to rewrite it back to. I would just burn the book. Open up, this is the place. They're here for the notebook. Then hurry up and start already. Okay. Open up. Think, man. I got nothing. What? I've got writer's block. Man, do fuck writer's block. <laughs> Mr. Small looked at Larry and said, It's not you, Larry. It's me. Uh, no. Larry said, We can't see each other anymore. No, not literally. It was a hard blow for Mr. Small. And Larry was destroyed. <laughs> You're making things worse. Yeah. This is hard. Just keep it simple. Like Principal Brown and Jackie Wilson broke up. No, not... Uh, Sarah needs to write... Ugh, Sarah needs to write this. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. I haven't written anything yet. But oh, it just, just happened. Okay. Delay them. Bobber, Cheney, and Tina were having a picnic. They knew it would be their last meal together. Don't be so sad. What we had was beautiful. Let's eat, Bobber, Tina said. Wait, shouldn't there be a comma before Bobber? Yeah. What difference does that make? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's over. And his stomach twisted into a knot as he cried. Hot dog guy and Claire looked at each other with tears. Oh, Claire, I was calling her Polly. Space, said Claire. I agree, he replied. Not literally. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is moving too fast for me. I'm sorry, but this is moving too, too fast, fast for me. This bird is out of control. <laughs> what do you know? And then Yuki said, I'm sorry, but this is moving too fast for me. Yeah, he needs to three people in a room and pressure them to keep coming up with gold. Eventually, they'll start repeating material. What? You think you can just lock three people in a room and pressure them to keep coming up with gold? Eventually, they'll start. He just said that. Oh. What are we doing? I love you, Sarah. Me too. Okay, Sarah. Dude, day. come on. What happened? What the what? How did you do that? Gumball and Darn kissed Sarah, but in the end, none of this mattered because it was all just fan fiction. Oh, oh there we go. There idea. we go. But wait, how did us kissing you help that plan? It didn't. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Woo! I don't know, man. This episode got me thinking, man, about the fan fics that people are making, not in Gumball, but in anything else. But I like, too, how they were kind of mocking it. First episode, I saw, like, they were kind of mocking people's fan fics and art on Gumball, but... Yeah, uh, let's have the last episode. Here we go. The brain. All right, see you in the store. Okay, let me see. <laughs> nice. 110. 
110 degrees? Mm. She's burning up? Mm. No, that's just how much we charge for removing the thermometer. Her temperature oh. is normal. What? Now, follow my That's the medical service. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Well, as a medical practitioner, I don't like the sound of this at all. But as a part-time DJ, I'm yeah. kind of feeling it. Oh. Me and my dogs, we keep it a hundred. Hundred. Hey. Money in the waste to be 20, 20 focus. Hey. Stacks and stacks, grill up to the ceiling. Hey. Hands in the air, you know the feeling. Scream hey. uh, Doctor, please, can you tell me what's wrong with her? Pretty good. Yes, allow me to demonstrate. Could one of you do something stupid? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected. Uh, your what dog happened? has been face palming at your stupidity for so long it's becoming dangerous. Take oh. a look at this x-ray. Ha! Ah. <gasps> there will be serious consequences for her brain if she face palms again. Let's assume this is a standard Watterson brain. If yeah. the face palming continues in six months, she'll go from a Nicole to a gumball. In nine months, she'll be a Darwin. And at 18 months, she'll have gone full Richard. Oh, no. <laughs> Richard M. Sad. Yeah, the jazz at Richard. I'm afraid there's only one cure. Anais cannot be exposed to any form of stupidity for an entire week. Okay. Nine whole days! Seven days. It's gonna be pretty hard not to mess up, even with her wearing noise-canceling headphones. I mean, dumbness kind of runs in our family. Just mm. look at the Watterson coat of arms. What does that Latin stuff mean? Insert family motto here. Yeah, okay, guys. Can you just get on with it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Five milkshakes and a double, triple cheeseburger. For the fifth time, sir, this is a hospital parking lot. There's no food here. <laughs> what about those mints? Mm. You forgot the napkins. Mm. Ah. No, more to the left. Almost there. <laughs> Little bit further. There you go. Thank you. I think I'm gonna put these noise canceling headphones right here. Uh -huh. Two cheeseburgers, please. Two cheeseburgers, and, uh, please. The pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like a sleep. Good. Then now is probably the time to drain ourselves. What do you mean? Well, I feel like a giant odor of stupidity, bloated mm. and bursting, waiting for well, you are anyone gumball. to milk me. I agree with Gumball. You might as well be at your most face palmy while she's not here to witness it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Richard got a hair tattoo? Ugh. Oh! Most of the stuff is caused by Gumball, Richard, and uh, Darwin. Well, Not really much Nicole. Something even more infinite than the universe. Your eternal love for us. Oh, right, two things: hey. your ability to emotionally manipulate me, and this family's stupidity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, it's not stupid if it works. Yeah. I'm gonna take Anais to the mall, and by the time I get back, I want this house bleached clean. Okay. Ooh, pasta, huh? Me gusta, as they say in Italy. Hey. Three boxes of cereal, huh? Someone call the FBI. We I hate when guys do that. Stories. Here. I don't want to make conversation. Oh, Just give me my food, and that's orange. it. You glad these were on special? <laughs> you got a good deal on these pickles. I am a dill and I'm working at the till. We're supposed to call a checkout, but hey. I'm gonna stick my neck out and say till, 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 dill, dill until so dill hey. with dill. Hey. I am a dill. I'm still working at the till. Earn a diamond, hey. earn a nickel with my finger. Hey, you got bars. Say that I had a little spill with my friendly little dill. Put you back into the jar with your herby vinegar. Say pickle, pickle, jar, can it work in jerkins? Can I bag a dill, pickle, dill, pickle? Hey, 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 this kid's got bars. That'll be $25.99. No, I'm sorry, ma'am. Your coupon's expired today at 12. Come what? on, it's 12.01! Store policy. All Bro, you were rapping! You just spent half an hour singing Don't Go Bacon My Heart to a pack of ham! Mm -hmm. mm, sorry, ma'am. Rules are rules. Okay, I'm not getting into a fight with a teenager. Call your supervisor, please. Bobby to the checkout. How can Bobby help? What the... How can you He's be cute. in he charge? Cute. He cute. You He's gotta cute. be kidding. <laughs> Literally. I mean, you're so young, I bet you don't know like the alphabet yet. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. H. 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 <laughs> Okay, that was pretty sweet. Oh, but geez, I'd still cute. like it's to cute. speak to the store manager, please. Okay, this really isn't. Oh happening. my God, hey, baby. <laughs> Madam, if you wish, I can refer you to the CEO. Oh, finally, an adult. Thank you. So, about your coupon policy. I'm sorry, madam, but I'll have to refer to my shareholders. Bruh. Guys, would you mind stepping in? Sure. sure. What seems to be the problem? problem? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Hello? Hi, honey, so, yeah, could you help us settle an argument? When you said bleach the house, did you mean that in a literal way, or more the manner of speaking? What have you done? They bleached the house? <gasps> I went the oh my god. Approach. It's so white. It's so white. Time, honey. It looks like the entrance to paradise. Fix it now. Damn. You have to repaint the whole house in the next ten minutes. Don't be silly. We got about two. <laughs> That's impossible. Mm. I think you mean fun possible. Hey, my gun. Let's go. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun way. I mean, it, it, Hello? yeah, it kind of looks like the house. What's that smell? Lunch is in the oven. Right. Why don't you watch a little TV, Anais, while I go and check on the lunch? <laughs> hey, uh, guys. Can uh, you step in here for a moment? <laughs> what is it, honey? Why is it upside down? Uh, I have to place it in the oven at 180 degrees. You're probably not going to like dessert either. What is it? Creme very brulee. Mm -hmm. What is the matter? And tomorrow there'll be high temperatures with a few IV drips of rain. Then things may take a turn for the nurse, so be sure to take intensive care. Hmm? Doesn't really make sense. Huh? Are we monitor? Huh? Strange. Was that ice cream? Did <laughs> I used to end up like the three of you? What do you mean? Hmm? Richard! Bro, oh, come on! <laughs> I need everyone to stop acting like they use paint fumes for cologne. Uh, Mom? No, I mm. haven't finished yet. This is about oh, the future Anais of the left. Sister, okay? And if you think about it, yours as well. I mean, ten years from now, Anais may be the only difference between you two being in Penn State or State Penn. <laughs> I'm still not finished. <laughs> Penn State or State Penn? For yourself. At least do it for her. Can I speak now? She's yes. gone. She's gone. Mm -hmm. <gasps> It was hard enough protecting Where did she go? I saw it like like a medical van or something. Oh. Pinata. Richard, do something. I got this. <laughs> Free candy. Away from there. Free candy. Free candy. Oh shit. How'd you get there? No, it's, it's 101. <laughs> I'm the shit. I'm the fuck. Coco, what is wrong with your sight? You cause constant destruction. What is wrong with your sight? Oh, the pills? Your sight, sight. How'd she get to the construction site? Why is it skipping? I guess she's like so messed up in the head that it just goes ahead. Damn. Oh damn. I got this. Oh, okay. Nice. Yay. Nice. Yay, they got it. Nice, they got her back. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Go home and run a CT scan and another blood test. A what? Huh? What's going on? Oh my gosh. None of this is real. Wait, what? She's gonna be all right. What happened? <gasps> what happened? Do you know how we weren't supposed to say or do anything stupid for a week? Anais cannot be exposed to any form of stupidity for an entire week. Nine whole days! <laughs> so that's what caused it. hours and 12 bedpans. So what now, doctor? What's the prognosis? Well, the symptoms are regular headaches, stress, face palming, and an abnormal amount of shouting. Mm -hmm. It's called family. I'm afraid there's no cure. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Okay. Well, at least everything got, you know, resolved in the end.